Hi, welcome back. In this lecture, let's quickly understand the basic flow of Spring Data JPA. And this diagram shows the basic flow at the time of accessing the data from the database table using Spring Data JPA. And if you look at the steps here, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Well, whenever we perform any database operation using Spring Data JPA, then these steps, these six steps will be, you know, performed internally. Well, we basically call JPA repository methods from the service layer. For example, let's say we want to save an entity into the database table using Spring Data JPA. Then what we basically do? We inject repository that is a JPA repository in a service layer and then we call it save method and then we pass the entity as a parameter. Right? So this is the first step. Second step is like JP repository is just an interface and there should be an implementation for JP repository interface and its methods. Right? Spring Data JPA provides simple JP repository class which implements JP repository interface as well as its methods. And Spring Data JPA also provides flexibility to write your own custom repository implementation class. Alright, so consider in this flow we are using simple JP repository class which implements JP repository interface. So this is the second step. Third step is Spring Data JPA internally uses JPA APIs. It means that Spring Data JPA is just an abstraction layer on top of JPA to reduce the boilerplate code. Okay, so all the Spring Data JPA methods internally uses JPA APIs in order to talk with the database. Alright, so this is the third step. Now, as we know that JPA is just a standard specification or a standard API and it doesn't have any implementation, right? And there should be an implementation for JPA APIs. Well, Spring Data JPA it internally by default uses Hibernate as a JPA implementation or JPA provider. So in this case, consider we are using Hibernate as a JPA implementation. All right. So JPA API internally call Hibernate core APIs. And then Hibernate will basically generate the SQL queries based on the method call. For example, let's say we want to persist an object into a database table. Then Hibernate will create the insert SQL query and then it will internally call JDBC basic APIs and then JDBC basic API will internally talk with the database. Okay, so this is how the flow goes. Service layer will call Spring Data JPA repository methods and it will pass the required parameters and then Spring Data JPA internally uses JPA APIs and it will pass the required parameters and JPA API internally call Hibernate Core APIs and it will pass the required parameters and then Hibernate Core API will generate the SQL query based on the method call and it will bind all the values and then Hibernate Core API internally use you know JDBC APIs to talk with the database all right so notice here Hibernate internally uses JDBC to talk with the database and execute the SQL queries. All right, this is how the flow goes whenever we perform any database operation using Spring Data JPA. And if you can notice here, Spring Data JPA it is just an abstraction layer on top of JPA to reduce the boilerplate code. Okay, and Spring Data JPA internally uses JPA APIs and Hibernate implementation. Okay, so it means that Spring Data JPA is just an abstraction layer on top of JPA to reduce a boilerplate code. Alright, I hope you pretty much understood the basic flow of Spring Data JPA. Alright, I will see you in next lecture.